Do I need the light on? I don't know if I need the light on. Maybe we're just gonna go for it. Hi! I'm back. I'm starting to get back on my YouTube game, so I thought it would be much better, a much good idea. Hello? I thought it would be a great idea to start with a Q&A, but first I gotta, I'm sitting on a table and it's, do you hear that? We gotta move that. And to move it, you just go like this. Ah, that's perfect. Ooh, okay. All right, it's a little squeaky still. I wrote down some questions on this piece of paper that I found and we're gonna answer them. Woohoo! Okay. First question that nobody asked, but I will tell you is that, yes, I'm still single. I still have bronchitis and there is still blood on my ceiling. Let's get right into it. Somebody did ask, why is there blood on your ceiling? Well, that's a great question. And I'm gonna answer that for you right now. <laughs> Maddie was visiting a couple weeks ago and I always leave my front door open because it's nice where I live, it gives more light and it gets so cold in my apartment because I just don't think there's like insulation. My apartment was built in like the 40s. So I open the front door in hopes that maybe the warm weather will come into my apartment and make it warmer. I don't know if there's any logic to that, but in my mind it works and I just like the fresh air and I like to hear the birds singing. It genuinely just hit me that I could just open a window. Anyways, Maddie was visiting and we had the door open because we were getting ready in my living room and a bird flies in. Now, I will say, I do believe birds are government agents that were sent here to spy on us and that's why they sit on power lines so they can recharge and they don't get electrocuted. But with that being said, I also do, I do, I do believe that there are real birds. You can't have all robot birds because then we would obviously catch on. So there are some real ones, but a lot of them are fake. So with that being said, a real bird flew into my apartment. I will put some footage of Maddie and I freaking out. We <laughs> Why did I do it like that? Come on, little birdie. Oh, <gasps> Outside, you're so close, you're so close. Come on. Oh, beautiful decoration. Unfortunately, I think we have a new pet. <laughs> Maddie and I were literally freaking out. Obviously, like, I like, I wouldn't say I like birds. I'm on to them and I'm skeptical of them, but I don't hate them. But long story short, you know when a bird is stuck in your house, it's freaking terrifying. <laughs> so we could not get this bird out. It was flying back and forth and my door is like to the left. So it was going back and forth from my kitchen to my living room, but it w didn't know how to turn. Oh, come on, come on, you're so close, down. Turn, just turn. It's not smart. It is oh, not smart bless his all. heart. It just keeps going back oh, he's forward. sitting upside down. I'm scared. Me too. Oh. Ah! Hold on, go, 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 you're so close, you're so close. <laughs> to get out the door. So we were like trying to get it out. And anyways, I think in that process, it hurt its wing or foot. And so it was like hitting the ceiling because he was obviously trying to leave, which got blood all over my ceiling. I can't get off. I tried to swiffer it today. I tried to swiffer my ceiling. It didn't work and I'm I'm short so and I don't I only have like a step stool so I can't reach it to like scrub it and I feel like if I'm scrubbing while looking up I will literally fall because just then and there I got dizzy so anyways that's why there's blood on my ceiling and my roommate finally comes home tomorrow so maybe she can help me I could sit on her shoulders or something all right <laughs> somebody said name my baby Deb obviously next question why do you go by Deb and not bruh? That is a very good question. I have gotten sent the meme that says, why do people named Deborah go by Deb and not bruh? I'm not kidding, probably 500 times. 
which means I'm probably the only Deborah in about 500 people's lives, which is quite an honor. But let me tell you a story. I did try this. One of my friends was calling me bruh and it wasn't really catching on and nobody really knew who she was talking about. And then anytime I heard somebody else say bruh, I thought they were talking to me and it was just, it just never really caught on. And I'm like, you know what? I swear, I swear. I swear that Alexa thing just turned and looked at me. So yeah, that's the reason I go by Deb and not by Bruh because it just didn't catch on. But you could call me whatever you want. I will talk about Love Island things, don't worry. I asked on Instagram and I also asked on TikTok if you had any questions. I answered some on TikTok already and I feel like I answer things on live and stuff, but I thought it'd be fun to put it all in one place. So that's what I'm doing. Um, Oh gosh, I just started thinking about my meatloaf. <sighs> oh, somebody asked if we got paid to go on Love Island. We did, thankfully. I... I heard on some shows that they don't get paid, but the reason I'm laughing is because I kept joking and saying it was my summer internship. And honestly, that kind of like, whenever anything wasn't going the way I wanted it to, or if I was too tired or something, I was like, you know what? This is the best job I've ever freaking had. So yeah, it was, yeah, we got paid. Not very much, but we got paid enough to like live, which you know what? I would be happy to get paid a dollar so yeah. Somebody also asked if I would ever go back on literally a billion percent in the moment on like the last day I was like I would never do this again but no I would for sure go back. I think I would do things differently. I would try to flirt more. I would explore my options a little bit more. Not saying that I have any regrets with how this season went because I genuinely did like Jesse the most out of all of the guys and like I really felt like we were really good together but I think going into it again, if it were to happen ever again, um, I would just see who, like, just talk to people a little bit more and not necessarily, like, I don't, I don't know how to describe it. It's so, it's so scary because there is only like a limited amount of time because like you never know when there's going to be a dumping. You never know when there's going to be a recoupling and you never know who's going to get to choose. So you don't want to necessarily be like flirting with somebody else and then make the person that you're with think you don't like them. It's so hard to like navigate the situation and be on top of it the whole time. But also like, I mean, obviously, ugh, I don't know how to describe it. But yeah, long story short, I would for sure go back on. I think it would be so much fun. And I just love flirting, so. But you know what I would tell you? The one thing, the one thing I hated about Love Island was I had to share the spotlight. That was it. There were so many people and didn't have the cameras on me 24 seven. Well, I did, but they also had to focus on other people. That was the hardest thing for me because I wanted, if you don't know me, you know, I, I love attention. So yeah, no, I'm just kidding. Not really kidding, but obviously we all had our own journeys and they had to document everybody's journey there on the island, whatever. But, uh, uh, so, I don't know. Next question. Somebody asked what I do for work. <laughs> That's a great question. Um, yeah, I don't really do anything right now. Since coming off Love Island, I'm trying to do social media and acting full time. Give it a year. Give it a go. See how it goes. Things are actually going pretty well, which is exciting. So I think I just need to maintain being consistent, maintain the momentum, hopefully try to keep the momentum, continue to meet people and like people from other Love Island seasons and just other creators in general because I think it's really cool to have like that kind of community to build each other up and support each other and be creative together. So I'm still like working on that, but yeah, I love doing social media. That's technically what I'm doing like full time. Um, but with that being said, I also am trying really hard to remain authentic because that's who I am. And I don't want to come across as somebody who's 
just a commercial. Every brand deal I take is something that I genuinely love and use and want to share. Somebody asked what is in my Goodwill pile at the moment. I actually just dropped a bunch of stuff off. I need to go through my closet some more, so I'll probably just have clothes. And, oh, you know what? I have um boba balls. I don't really like boba, and I got some, and so I put boba balls. Okay. Um, favorite insect? Hmm. insects I'm trying to think of one you know what I'm gonna say a fly I literally hate flies but flies are always there which reminds me of myself they're always looking for attention they're always bugging people they're really annoying deb 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 and they have a great sense of smell I think I have a great sense of smell how do I deal with the haters? Obviously, there's haters. Um, I think just remaining true to myself and knowing that in my mind, I'm not doing anything wrong and that if somebody's hating on me, that's just their opinion. Obviously, it's easier said than done. But if somebody doesn't like me, that's just one person who doesn't like me. And I'm sure there's more, but... I don't know. It is. I just try to laugh at the haters and maybe one day it'll make it into my stand up routine. Am I ever going to do stand up? One day. Somebody was asking if we had a stylist or if we had to buy our own clothes. Yes, we had to buy our own clothes. <laughs> there was a wardrobe person there who provided the outfits for the challenges. They did, I think like twice they came and we got to pick out dresses, but we got maybe like two dresses each. And we also got to pick out some swimsuits and I think I got like four swimsuits. So yes, we did get some stuff, but majority of it, we had to buy on our own and we just borrowed from each other, which was so nice because everyone had such cute clothes. But that's why you see everybody wearing the same thing. Also, it's like, it's hard because you don't know how much to bring. So obviously you try to prepare for like six weeks if you're there the whole time, but who actually has six weeks worth of different clothes? So yeah. Are you filmed 24 seven? Yes. Literally 24 seven, you are filmed. Even if you're brushing your teeth and like the cameras aren't pointed at you, like you would still sometimes hear a camera go and like look at you. Drinking, oh my gosh. I wish we could drink. If we could get drunk, the amount of fun I would have, I already had so much fun, but just like the more, just the like more outrageous things I would probably do. Yeah, if I could drink, I would have probably burned the villa down so probably was for the best that we couldn't get drunk we really only got one or two glasses of wine a night which we looked forward to literally all day the most we ever got i think maybe we got like three glasses of wine a night and i think they knew we were going to get three glasses of wine because the pores weren't as big <laughs> or maybe they're just running out of wine who knows but yeah could not get drunk i'm so jealous of the shows where they can just get, be hammered sounds like so much fun Okay, I think that is all for today. I really don't want to make this too long because I want people to actually watch it. But if you have any more questions, leave them in the comments and I will answer them in another video. And make sure to like, follow, and subscribe. Oh, I've never said that before. That's so weird. Um, but yeah, let me know if you have any more questions. And I love talking to you. So please literally ask whatever Love Island related or not. And yeah, okay, bye.